can feel the cold of winter. It's right there within reach, right at our doorstep here. The holidays are just around the corner and that makes it the perfect time to help our veterans. The Home Depot in Pasadena donated some things for a veteran organization in WMAR 2 News. Don Harrison tells us about people thanking veterans for their service that came right from the heart. The seasons are changing and time to switch over from summer to winter things. Many of our veterans may have found themselves on hard times and may not have the resources to do that. That's why the Home Depot in Pasadena is surprising the Maryland Center for Veterans Education and Training in Baltimore City with 60 buckets of winter supplies and virus protection. There was another surprise as well. So we'd like to present you with this check as well for $1,000, sir. Our vets are just, you know, they're the heart of, the, of America. I mean, they, they do everything. I mean, it's just really, really important to give back to them in the community. Filling 60 buckets of material is a lot of work, and they didn't ask corporate for the help. They took care of it themselves. All volunteer to get the product off the shelf, put the kits together, um, and they're all volunteers. They're Home Depot associates. There are currently about 30,000 homeless veterans that sleep on the streets of America every night. Jeffrey Kendrick is a 20-year veteran of the Air Force. He is also an executive director for the Maryland Center for the Veterans Education and Training. These donations will go to use immediately. Tonight there will be a man or woman who may be sleeping on the streets that will somehow come through our doors. Once they come through our doors, they'll be able to recipients of these great gifts that we've got here for them. Kendrick has heard over and over, thank you for your service, but this will have a bigger impact to those veterans in need. But this really shows that people are thanking you for the service, and it's very gratifying, and it touches them greatly. In Pasadena, Don Harrison, WMAR2 News.